My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales and this is a video which is going to be touching on some of the changes that Volvo has done to their Series 1 IPS pods uh, for model years 2020. Uh, Volvo is really touting a re-engineering of the pods and the engines and so this video is going to be touching base on what that really means for you as the end user. So please take a look at this video. If you have any questions or you like videos like this, please click the subscribe button for more videos like this. <clears throat> All right, so I've just kind of boiled this down to six key things that Volvo has done for their Series 1 pods that you should be aware of. Um, yes, Volvo has uh, completely re-engineered the tuber chargers, the after coolers, um, they've uh, created this new communication software, all this crazy new stuff, but really I see six awesome things that uh, Volvo has, has done. And the first, which is what I'm most excited about, is auto oil level checking. Um, this must have taken some serious engineering wizardry or something to make this happen. Otherwise, you would think that all diesel manufacturers would have this sort of technology available, but Volvo has done it for both their pods and their engines, which I think is fantastic. And, um, and this really eliminates the need to crawl down into an engine room, pull out your dipstick with a rag, and hopefully you don't get it all over your clothes and, and put it all back. You still should do a visual uh, check of the engine room, but really that cuts down the time and effort big time to get underway. So um, what will happen is you'll go up to the main screen, you'll key on your ignition for your Volvos, and it will automatically check that oil level for you every time before you start the engine, which is really awesome. So that's the first thing that Volvo has done. The second thing Volvo has done is they have engineered a seawater sensor for their pods. We all know whether you're running pods, outboards, stern drives, jet drives, whatever it may be, you know, you always have the risk of sucking something up and compromising seals or what have you. Um, and Volvo has, uh, not only do they have their uh, monofilament line cutters, which are between the two props, but now they've just introduced a seawater sensor, which is another line of defense that you have to stay proactive in the event that one of your seals have been compromised. Um, so I think that is really awesome. It can, enables you to keep on top of it and prevent any corrosion from happening as a result of getting seawater in your drive oil. So um, that is another awesome thing that Volvo has done for these pods. The third thing Volvo has done is as they've developed their higher horsepower rated pods, their series two and three pods, what they've learned with those larger horsepower, uh, they've brought that technology down into their series one. And they're saying that you're now able to get even more life out of your series one pods by improved gaskets and materials that they've used for their higher horsepower pods, which have all trickled down into the series one. So more life out of these pods, which is fantastic. Fourth thing Volvo has done is they are touting that there's going to be 30% less maintenance costs on these engines and pods. Um, they've lengthened the uh, service period for changing out the oil on the pod, um, so you can do it once every other year. Um, and also they've engineered a snorkel to the bottom of the pod so you can now do your oil changes while the boat is in the water, which just makes it so much easier from, to, you don't need to hire a captain to move the boat to get the boat hauled out and, um, and have her sitting in the slings to change your oil. It can all be done in the water now, which is fantastic. The fifth thing Volvo has done is they've created their EVC2. Uh, EVC2 is a communication software between the pods, engines, and the display. Um, while this does isn't very exciting for you as an end user, what it does mean is you are sort of future-proofing your usage um, with the boat. Um, as Volvo develops more technology or software associated with these pods, 
um, it will be introduced with this new EVC2, so you will likely be able to upload um, any new software. Um, so that is a pretty nice thing if you are thinking about purchasing a new boat. <clears throat> the sixth and final thing that you should be aware of with Volvo's new uh, Series 1 pods is really going to appeal to those of you who tend to have a little bit of a heavy foot. Um, Volvo still has the IPS 500 in the 600s. They're now introducing the IPS 650s, which is going to be off of a 480 horsepower engine. Um, that'll get you a couple extra knots depending on what boat you're running. So uh, these are the six things that I think you should be aware of with Volvo's new products. I'm pretty excited about them. Hopefully you are as well. If I've missed something, please do write me an email using the information below this video and um, hopefully we'll see you out on the water.